Namaskar. Hello and welcome to Key Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer. Today, after a hiatus of a few weeks, I have back with me Elmer Yuan. And we are going to start with a bang. This is going to be one more cracker of a session. Just pass in your seat belts and get ready for fun. Elmer, Namaskar and welcome to Key Guru's channel. Hello, Sri. Thank you for inviting me. We have fun always talking. Absolutely, Elmer. And I'm going to lead you in with a photograph that appeared on one of the TV channels. And then you can talk to it and then tell us the secret behind why this picture was taken. Can we have the picture, please? So, Elmer, this picture uh, is taken, uh, I think, yesterday or day before yesterday. yesterday. Yes, on CCTV. On when, CCTV. When it started, I thought it's, uh, uh, what do you call, when you go to a department store in the window, what do you call, uh, Milligan? Is it called Mil Milligan or something? I didn't know. Yeah, it's mannequin, 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 mannequin. I thought this yeah. is a mannequin. I said, well, what do they? And then I looked clearly, Xi Jinping is sitting in the middle with all his military bras. Yes, yes, yes. So um, now we are talking, and we have been talking about this in a, for a few episodes now, that China could be planning unconventional warfare at the world. And I think you and I have been discussing, perhaps there are more than four or five ways. Why don't you kind of walk us through all the different ways in which China could be preparing? It might not be boots on the ground invasion like Normandy, but something else. So take it away. Since the last 73 years, China has been thinking how to unify Taiwan. The only reason they were disrupted was because of the Korean War. China had to send uh, their army to the Korean War, try to help the, the, this, uh, the present guy, uh, grandfather, to unify Korea. It was a very bloody war. I mean, both sides lose millions of people. So that, that distracted them from unifying Taiwan. So when, for more than 70 years, they've been thinking about unrestricted, unconventional way to take over Taiwan. They, they tried to have a run on Taiwan, but uh, was unsuccessful. Now, uh, you look at that picture. This is yesterday's picture. The comment on that picture, Xi Jinping made a very strong speech. All the soldiers must have a fighting spirit to fight to win. And they must get ready immediately for the unification of Taiwan for the military unification of Taiwan. So this has already been uh, rumored around or warned by the US. Blinken has said two times, and then the uh, in Indian Pacific uh, 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 naval commander has, uh, yeah, right. yeah, has already said it, uh, that it could happen this year or even tonight. This is what they're saying on Taiwan, at least on Taiwan. But Everybody understand if they do it the conventional way, like uh, landing on Normandy, that type of warfare, they're going to lose. We know they may not, they will never even reach Taiwan. All the ships will be sunk before they even reach Taiwan. So that's not going to be the case. I mean, we watch too many movies. That's our problem. So <laughs> we have to, we have to think what uh, the Sun Tzu, which is the book called The Art of War all Chinese, this is about more than 3,000 years old. We, the, this is theory of war, basically. And, and what they say is very important. One of the, if you have to check, you must not disrespect deceit. War, deceit is very, very normal. And you should use deceit unlimitedly. You have to be deceitful when you fight a war. And some people say, oh, uh, I don't fight dirty wars. That is a stupid way of uh, of fighting, I and mean, never use such uh, general. <laughs> you end up losing the country. So the Chinese, when they go to war, by by the book of uh, uh, the art of war, they have to be they have would use deceit to the limit. All right. So let's 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 say a very common virus. This virus is man-made. It has been enhanced we call the uh, gain of function, right? Right, gain and of function. If they can do one, they can do 10. You can make one type of uh, uh, virus, can do 10. It may be accidentally leaked. Oh, that's not the issue. But it was made in Wuhan. There was this lab, the P4 lab. So they can use that to contaminate their enemy first. 
and then the enemy will be totally confused. In fact, in the beginning of this, the uh, American uh, navies, some of the battleship have to go back to Guam because the ship was infected. So this is a very easy for them, a few test tubes. They can shoot the first few test tubes by drone and you can into very populated city center, population center. Immediately, it will be total chaos. It will take a year it would take a year for any vaccine to be developed. But in the meantime, when the virus goes back to China, travels back to China, they have this very old fashioned quarantine process, separating people. And this better than no vaccine. But so this is one, one, one of the fights. The other one the Chinese are planning is, as you know, uh, during Donald Trump's uh, period, U.S. is self-sufficient in oil and gas, in energy. Yes, yes. So basically, the Middle East, I mean, people like uh, uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, uh, United Emirates, they need customers for their oil. And China yes, was the yes. biggest customer. And China yeah. has been forcing them to say, you want to do business with us? We're going to pay you in RMB not US dollars. I mean, the whole, in the last whatever, 50 years, it's always been the petrol dollars is the US dollar. So China wants to change that. And the reason, remember, they formed the BRIC country, India was part of it, was trying to start this new currency and this, they form a bank. These uh, BRIC country, including India, they form a, it's called the New Development Bank. It's based, the headquarters based in Shanghai. I know the, I know the president quite well. They are trying to replace the U.S. dollars because U.S. dollars e obviously is overissued, have been overissued, and there are weaknesses. Of course, I'm not saying that uh, you can easily, but there are weaknesses. The, both Russia and China have never sold any gold in the last 60 years or 70 years. They've been buying. They've been buying from all their gold mining companies and also buying from other people. So why are they accumulating gold? They are trying to use the gold to back up their currencies. So there will be a currency, which in this instance, may be a new RMB, all right? It could even be digital. It could even be digital. Backed up by gold, right? While the US dollar is not backed up by gold. It's been delinked. So if they can, they can use this okay, gold-backed currency, to disrupt the US dollars. And that may force all the Wall Street or the investment banker, the whole world, who is basically linked to the US dollar, they may push US into negotiation. It's like what Sullivan is talking with the, with the Russian, all right? Because the Russian has disrupted the whole energy uh, 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 business in, uh, in, in all over the world, except US, even US has been disrupted. So, they are not looking at direct confrontation. They are looking to disrupt the whole uh, currency business uh, so that you may have to come and negotiate. They're not looking to for absolute, and when they negotiate, they say, oh, we want Taiwan, we want this, and we want that, we want you to recharge, we treat each other as equal in the Pacific. That's what they want, all right? This is one another, another, uh, can, can, can I stop you for one second here? Please, one, please, one second. Please. What is the interest for countries like Saudi Arabia who have bought up gobs of real estate in New York or in United Kingdom to change from the current system to that of RMB? What is the incentive for them? They have no choice. China, if since they have no customer, right? China is the biggest customer. Before they had US, US was a very big customer for them. Now US don't buy no more. So China really has have the upper hand to negotiate. If you want to sell to the China market, you have to accept RMB. And then you have to find a solution for the RMB. Maybe either you buy a lot of stuff from us, like Iran is buying a lot of weapon from us. From us means China. Uh, I'm still consider myself a Chinese. But anyway, either you buy a lot of uh, a weapon or anything from us and then, and then use up the RMB. So for the future of Saudi Arabia is not United States. That's why they were willing to, you know, at the OPEC meeting, they totally reduced 2 million barrels a day, I mean, against US. So no longer 
you the us us and saudi used to be like our partners but not anymore so, so this, again the, the the rmp is really and weapon they weaponize the currency <laughs> this is what they do this so is, they weaponize can, anything my dear friend india can play an important role here as a counterweight yeah. to china saying that look we have need for so much crude also and and they can offensively you know at least have some sort of an understanding with the united states and say okay here's what we do and you you do this for us and we'll do this and keep this thing going and and the saudi arabia saudis and qataris they feel that okay there is another place that we can sell our oil to do you think india is doing something like that i don't think you are doing it you know indians are great merchants you do it just to make a few bucks but this is politics we're talking of geopolitics. You use weapon. You use your your demand for oil as a, to 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 align your yourself with countries that would help you to be on your side to put you into United Nations. All this you have to be able to sacrifice your near interests for longer political gain. That is the name of the game. This is why the communists are so dangerous because they don't care. Look. How, look at their stock market and everything. Hong Kong, all right, by by taking over Hong Kong, huge loss. You nobody knows how much. Nobody knows how much, but they are willing to sacrifice. They say, if I have power, then automatically I have money. This is their their logic, which is not the same in India. You know, you have to align yourself with certain people who will put you to the top of the world, like the Security Council. This is very, very important. This is why if you continue just like a bargaining and making a few dollars here and there, you will never be the, the strongest country. And you are. You are the biggest country in the world. But you should be the most powerful country in the world now that the whole world's market is open to you. So anyway, currency is very big. Second deal. One, yeah. They may, they may make a wholly disrupt the currency market and the whole world will say, please, uh less enough please negotiate all right this is exactly this what putin is counting on is negotiation he knows he cannot fight same thing with china they know they cannot fight militarily using conventional so this is one very important thing and then there's another one which uh, uh i mean indian uh, uh historians or reporters are not very familiar with when the communists took over china from the nationalists beijing Beijing was not the capital. Nanjing was the capital. Beijing was called Beiping, sorry, because Jing means capital. All right. So Beiping, when the communists took over Beiping, they did not fire one bullet. All right. Not nobody gave. They were able to infiltrate the government, the nationalist general, infiltrate his family, corrupt the daughter, make her a communist party member, took all this all the uh, documents and passed it on to the communists and then persuaded her father to surrender. This was a very, very successful case because Beijing to all Chinese is like sacred, you know, so much culture in, in yes, yes, please. So was this the Kuomintang commanding general uh, or Song Sun, dynasty? Sun, uh, Sun, uh, Sao is Sun, S-U-N, you can look at uh, Sun Sorry. Yat-sen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Yat-sen, right, right. No, right. no, that no, is no. A... Sun Yat-sen was the founding father. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's this is Chiang Kai-shek. A... Chiang Kai-shek no, was Chiang the guy. Right? Chiang Kai-shek is in Taiwan. This general surrendered and, of course, later on, get purged. <laughs> Good luck to him. But anyway, that was the very model that they want to, that they already, China, have long time ago infiltrated Taiwan. They are direct flights. They are almost like a 30 or 40 direct flights between China, China and Taiwan. And Taiwan businessmen, all their factories are still in, in, in mainland. Right? This is not a joke. They make a lot of money. The best service industry in China are all uh, owned, by, owned and operated by the Taiwanese. So Taiwan makes a lot of profit, even now, today, from mainland China. So within Taiwan, we have 23 million people. One, 10 million of them are pro-communist China. Almost one third. Almost one third, but I asked my many friends, the number is from one third to 10 million are pro-China. 
And this is the model the, 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 the communists are suggesting. Against US dollars, the Taiwanese dollar is about 30 to 1. And the Chinese dollar is about 7 to 1. So they are proposing, it's like the Germany model. You remember the unification of Germany? Uh, right, one, right. one, one East, uh, East, East uh, German mark, you can exchange for one West German mark. So they are doing the same. One, one Taiwan dollar, you can exchange for one RMB, which automatically gained four times. All right. Wait, 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 wait. But, but there are four notes for every RMB printed. There are like five notes having the same serial number. But Siri, <laughs> Siri, normal people are not central bankers. <laughs> they don't care. You give me cash, I'm fine. You understand? You are you are looking from a central bank's uh, point of view. But most people, if you today give me four times more money, why not? You understand? I'm a, <laughs> a, I'm a normal person. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not the prime minister. I'm not the minister of finance. When I when you do that, let me tell you, it's only printing machine, right? Very simple. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you can even have US dollar. You know, they can print US dollar. You can print anything. <laughs> Doesn't matter as long as you surrender. Once you belong to them, they like Hong Kong, they control everything. Doesn't matter. They can use some paper and then take over the, the, the whole island. What a deal, including TSMC. Quite a deal. You understand these things for us is imaginary. It must have screwed up the inflation, this and that. But for them, it's only printing. So a couple of questions, Vastun, now that you mentioned TSMC. Yesterday or day before yesterday, I read that the United States has given an advisory to many multinational companies in Taiwan to also evacuate. Right. And that's one side. Then the TSMC chairman says that the in American engineers that are evacuating TSMC for U.S. are all children. Go ahead. You, you see, I think uh, TSMC has a very good team, really good team. And then this, this team not, is not, not only operating, but developing uh, and then fighting for, for better technology. It's a unique team. And sometimes China willing to pay them four times to steal a field. Yes, but you yes. really it's a team effort. Even today, you look at Intel, very successful, right? But they don't have the same spirit. The Intel don't have the same spirit. They are making product for their own, which is less pressure as making product for a customer. For a customer, yes. you do well, you get paid, right? And it's very quick. Immediately, if you make a mistake, <laughs> you don't get paid. But problem with in Intel, they sell internally. And they can play some kind of tricks or some kind of uh, 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 forgiveness internally. There is no forgiving with TSMC. So it's really the, the kind of pressure have trained them into a unique company. Nobody can do that. There's, of course, a smaller company in Taiwan called UMC and so on. But yeah, yeah. nothing to that, not to, not to that level. And, uh, and, uh, and then there is nobody else. The other people, Samsung. Unfortunately, Samsung, again, they sell the chips to themselves, all right? True. First, they ship, ship, ship themselves. So immediately, internally, as you know, big company, there's a lot of uh, politics or helping each other to evade, evade responsibility. On top of that, people don't trust Samsung because you ask Samsung to, to make certain ch chips, they may steal the know-how for their own product. But TSMC, they don't make any products. They are totally dedicated for FAP. For, for, for processing. So it's a unique system. So you have to give credit to TSMC and they stick to that. Never, never uh, uh, greedy to make product. A lot of people start getting greedy and say, I want to make that, that's so profitable. I want to make that too. Never, never deviate from their sole business. So I, I got you off from your main thought. So sorry about that, but I had to, because these are all things happening in parallel. So we need to kind of, you know, link things oh, together. Please, please. Yeah. I, I'm so, luckily, I, I can go back and forth. I'm fine. Right, right. So now you said that one third of Taiwanese are in favor of unification and their money is going to be the way that's going to be uh, dangled, uh, you know, uh, incentive. Yes. But, but something happened that made the Taiwanese to take pause. What was that? You see, three years ago, not too long ago, only three years ago, all Chinese, all Hong Kong, 
Taiwanese, American Chinese, all these in Silicon Valley, you know, a lot of Chinese in Silicon Valley. Everybody said China is the future, all right? China is going to overtake US, maybe 20, 20, uh, 2050, all right? Something like that. This is, everybody believe that. And they're not only doing it, they're helping China to take over US. To, you, you understand? By giving yes. them like KSMC, they build a factory in Nanjing, all right? Maybe uh, like a higher, maybe 28 nanometers, all right? But they did, they're helping. Samsung build a build a build a memory yes, uh, business in uh, Sichuan, and then uh, Hynex build one in Xi'an. Yes, they help them and sell them all kinds of things. Even the ASML was selling them only three years ago. So basically, people love to make money in China. It's the biggest market in the world, and they're capable of trans transferring the technology into product productization nowhere in the world you can compete with china in productization if you look at elon Musk, you understand yes yes we All talked right? about that we had an episode on that yeah. okay now let me come back so everybody was uh, china crazy the first thing how to make money everybody including uh, diplomats a politician oh china china is when i retire i want to work in china and make money that was everybody's dream All right until hong kong the national security law. Hong Kong was one country, one country, two system. We are the, we are, we call it the free, free system. They are the, they are the slave system. All right. So until that, they destroy Hong Kong. So Taiwan said, wow, today Hong Kong, tomorrow Taiwan. So the same thing is, they, is, is applied to Taiwan. That's why Elon Musk was talking the same. You remember also, uh, make Taiwan a special administrative zone and give them better yes. terms. Yes, yes. So all of a sudden, in fact, without Hong Kong, a pro-communist president will be elected in Taiwan. And it's over. It would be, it's, it would be over two years ago, it's over. But fortunately, or that's why we sometimes feel, we feel the Hong Kong young people feel that Taiwan over to them, which is in this accidental way it is. So Taiwan, finally, everybody went and elected President Choi, this lady, all right? She's not very tough, but she's very firm, very stable, very firm. And then American gave her all the support. Now they're going to have an election soon, in a, maybe a couple of months or something. But we believe that because of the fear, looking at Hong Kong, they decided, no, they don't want one country, two system, because China reneged one country system, very quickly turn out to be one country, one system, and the China will be the <laughs> will be the system. So this is really the problem. And uh, 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 now, what this is why even one third of Taiwan pro China is not uh, it's nothing strange because everybody wants to make money. It's normal. Even you go to Washington. Let me tell you, more than one third used to be pro China. Now it's all switching. The Congress is switching. The White House is switch switching. But but three years ago, everybody in England, maybe even in India, or in uh, US, Canada, all pro-China. So today it takes time for this thing to turn around. They have to catch all the spies, the Chinese spies in, in these countries. It is happening in Australia. You see a lot of tales. So this is a weapon. The Chinese will say that, oh, uh, we've decided to unify China and everybody in, China, in Taiwan can come and exchange their money for Hong Kong dollar or for RMB, for time value, all right? And then they're gonna ask, not you don't need too many people, a couple of hundred thousand people <laughs> waving Chinese flag in front of the uh, uh, Taiwan president, uh, presidential palace. And then all the media would expose it. That how can America help? When people say, please, come china please come and uh, unify us how can u.s send their military no you, they cannot, they so cannot. this is another weapon this is very 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 tough weapon well, this is how u.s actually did the same to eastern europe in, in in those days and and there are many weapons that they can they can use unrestricted warfare of course there's a tactical uh, weapon now they don't even have to use touch touch a nuclear weapon because you nuclear weapon they know where the source where the weapon came from but uh, with virus with currency with this kind of a one dollar for four dollars 
you cannot blame them for being an aggressor. You you understand? So I'm only I'm I've only spent maybe maybe like a, uh, seventy seven hours. But these guys have spent seventy years thinking. They have the brightest. That's all they do is think how to how to screw Taiwan. <laughs> now um, let's take a quick look at what is happening in the United States today. Of course, is election day, and if Xi Jinping had any plans of doing anything with Taiwan, today would be a very good day <laughs> because the U.S.'s attention is like, do I still have my seat or not? So um, again, this time also, uh, in fact, I just wrapped up a show that the Republicans are making noise that this election could also be rigged. And uh, they have some reasons for that. They are saying that you haven't changed a lot of the ways in which the elected electable voters have been screened. How do you see the election? You've been you are in the thick of things. You are in D.C. You've been talking to many people. Do you think that uh, Republicans are in for a nasty surprise? Um, the problem is these damn voting machine. Yes. All right. Uh, you know, you 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 Indian and we we, we Chinese are very good in uh, calculation, right? Right. In right. mathematics, in the brain. You know, we think we do our our, our our math in the brain, right? Yes, yes, yes. But America, they never teach their kids about this multiplying table. What do you call? Yes. What do you call? It's a table, right? We have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. The multiplying table. They never teach. So the American kids, once, well, even if they add simple things, they need a calculator. Two plus two, right. they put a calculator. Seriously. Yeah. And when they run out of fingers, they use their toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> These people, and I ask them many times, why don't you do it manually? Because everywhere in the world, in Asia, they do it in the evening until they finish. Maybe yes. early morning, a few hours. If you do it by hand, that's all it takes. No. Immediately they look at the sky. Because none of them can do counting. You understand? They have a counting problem. Really, right, right. addition, not even multiplication. You know, it's just a simple adding. They have a problem. You know, you can tell, you can say I insult them, but this is really the truth. They say we must have a voting machine. That is the problem. That voting machine is still controlled by the same company in Toronto. Of a lot of Chinese operating it, and they are online connected with China. This is the problem. So I, I. No, we, we all know that the, the Republicans are doing very well. But certain states, swing states, are still using these machines. Six I think states, like Arizona yeah. and Nevada and so on. Maybe even Wisconsin. Yes, yes, yes. So we, we have to wait and see with bated breath if uh, the Republicans take back control of at least House, if not both. If they well, take maybe back both. That, maybe both. But they are yeah. watching like a hawk. Uh, yes. they're watching They are watching the polling like a hawk. 24 hours a day. But then at the end of the day, you still have to add them up. Yes. <laughs> That's what the problem is. <laughs> the watching true, true. is easy. They make sure it's everything and then checking the ID. That's simple. But the, who, who adds them up? This is the question I'm asking. Elmer, here's the numbers that I'm hearing. <clears throat> 40 million ballots have already been mailed in. Mailed in. 40 million. That's 20% of the elected elect, uh, people who, have, uh, who can uh, vote. That's a big, big number, and and we don't know how that's going to play and, out. And I have audience from California, from your country, and they work in the, the elderly home, retirement home. There's this this nurse go and uh, and uh, ask them to sign, and then he will send for them. I mean, this 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 is the problem with these uh, mail-in ballots. They, they, these nursing home, there are a lot of old elderly people in the United States. True, and true, they just true. are not capable. So when the nurse asks them to sign something, they sign. That's the problem. Okay, so uh, lastly, a look at the elections in Brazil. You know, oh, Bolsonaro my. wasn't doing too badly. What happened? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Lula wins. All of a sudden. So, I mean, again, they're using the same machine. What can we do? And this is the problem. You see, I was very scared because because China already very strong in the Asian bloc, seriously. India is probably the only country who has the power to stop them. Japan, still weak, very weak. 
So now Europe, of course, you see uh, the German uh, Chancellor visited uh, Beijing, right? Uh, yes. It's, 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 it's obviously, it's a recognition of Xi Jinping as the, it's a coronation uh, of Xi Jinping. Right. Right, 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 and and uh, the French and the Spanish are following. They will go very soon. They already promised. So the European bloc is in danger. They can all be bought with business. They can all be bought. If Germany can be bought, everybody can be bought. And then Africa, of course, is uh, belong to China anyway. At least <laughs> they can pay. So for them, it's really printing. I believe that. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. They, they are the best printing of U.S. dollars counterfeit is by the North Korean. Yes, and that I've heard. Yeah, yeah that you've heard. And they have started a joint venture just across the border from North Korea between North Korea on the China side, because China needs uh, needs uh, needs the service, needs the know how, needs the know how. So you don't know the kind of U.S. dollar we are spending, whether it's real or not real. Well, um, as far as I can remember, the paper that the U.S. uses to print its dollar notes is very, very carefully monitored and made sure that it doesn't fall in the wrong hands. Am I thinking wrong here? <laughs> but, sorry, people like you and me, we can tell the difference. If we cannot tell the difference, <laughs> the, our, our friends in Africa, in Middle East, what and in, in the South America, what do they know? I mean, when they see a hundred dollar note, it's a hundred dollar note. It's they are really too easy to be bought. This is a problem. The whole world is so. China will probably they may go to a digital currency. China, both in Hong Kong and mainland China, once they have digital currency, they basically have your cash. It's it can win them. Can, cannot win. We cannot win. We need to something aggressive. We need to first strike to win. Well, um, all we can paint are possibilities and probabilities and uh, the outcomes. And all this that we have said so far, not one soldier has fallen here. Not one death. <laughs> Everything is just essentially unconventional warfare. And yes. China has already proven that because in 2020, I'm repeating myself here, for Mumbai, for 13, year, 13 hours, one part of Mumbai was completely in the dark. Mm. And, and it was that China had told India that we have the capability to turn power off in your grid at will. Yes, yes. And they wanted to show that yes. October 2020. They did that. So India hasn't really taken down the lights in Beijing. <laughs> if the palace lights go out, then that's, uh, you know, Xi Jinping <laughs> doesn't get his favorite massage. <laughs> that's when he feels the pain. Yeah, you have to hit it. To <laughs> Xi Jinping, these days there is so much insulation. Even if somebody else suffers, they will not tell you. They'll quietly, silently suffer. So India, I don't know what he has done to you know hit back. So at, the at the bottom line, you cannot blame India. We live in peacetime. They live in wartime. Their mentality is war mentality. We have peace mentality. None of the free world is prepared to confront them with actual fight, with actual war. So this is the problem. And I want, when I propose in US two, year, two and a half years ago when I came to Washington, saying that this is a transnational criminal organization. And they say, show me the evidence, <laughs> the congressman. <laughs> the bill actually was submitted, but never passed. This is the problem. You have to, we have to understand what we are fighting with. We need to do that. It's a very, very strong enemy. And we need to do it quick, prompt, and really decisive. The, the world is not ready, unfortunately. And, and, and to make matters worse, the CIA's presence in China is rather weak, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, about, uh, I think it's about 10 years ago, uh, everybody rounded up. All the US uh, uh, spies in China were rounded up and shot. Now very much US is rely on Japanese uh, secret agents. A uh, little bit of uh, UK, but not so good. Japanese. They are very, very good at uh, at this kind of uh, activities. So Japan is get, providing the uh, prism countries with most of the information. But um, I did not see any reaction on part of the United States in in, in United States for having all its operatives killed in the in China. 
I didn't hear well, anything in no no, no this years. is a, this is a, a this is not a secret. Uh, over two hundred, somehow one one guy in fact was arrested in the U.S. when he it's a Hong Kong Chinese when he came back to the U.S. He was also one of the agents. Somehow he has he has all the contacts. I uh, uh, check on him. It's not too long ago he was arrested, and now he's been sentenced. And uh, he was the one who leaked, and all the assets were were shot by the communist. Well, um, so we know what the world is up against. All we can tell is we are like good doctors. We are we are we have put the thermometer in your mouth, taken it out, and you're saying yes, the patient has a fever. That's the best Elmer and I can do. And it's up to the authorities to see what best they can do. This this is coming. This is this is not idle yeah, this words. This is definitely coming. Xi yes. Jinping, uh, the, the 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 promise he made to 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 be reelected is to unify Taiwan. And um, so, all the best. And Elmer, it was always a pleasure talking to you. Uh, and uh, th th these are all there's much for people to mull over. I'm going to put this thing as a single episode. Thank because you. it's important. Everything has to tie in together because we've jumped a few things, but the underlying theme hasn't changed. And that's the most important thing. Please, viewers, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. And also, if you think the research was good, Elmer has given us the gift of his time. I've been chasing him for the last two weeks. Sorry, and sorry. finally, I cornered. That's okay. And then that's okay. That's okay. You're a very busy man. And I'm not going to tell people what you've been doing. Whatever happens, happens for the best for the people. And uh, most important thing is, please do show us your appreciation. Donate to us. You can do it a couple of ways. PayPal.me slash pgurus or super thanks. Thank you once again. Namaskar. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.